everyone. Welcome back to Just Deeds. I'm Tanya and today we're going to make a very simple chili recipe. Here are the ingredients needed for this recipe. Two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of chili powder, half a tablespoon of garlic salt, half a tablespoon of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of butter, one medium onion, one 15 ounce can of black beans, one 15 ounce can of dark red kidney beans, one 15 ounce kit can of pinto beans, one eight and a half ounce can of corn, one packet of chili flavoring, and one can of diced tomatoes and chilies. So let's get started. First, we're gonna turn your stove on to medium heat. We're gonna add the butter. We're gonna save half a teaspoon of butter for later. Okay. Once that butter is nice and sizzling, we're gonna take our um, onions here and add them. You're going to cook them until they start to get translucent. Probably about five to ten minutes. So next, after the onions are getting are translucent, we are going to go ahead and add the corn. Now, I've drained the juice from out of the corn and the beans already. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to add is the black beans, which I've drained. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit more. Next, we're going to add the, the pinto beans. I'm going to add the kidney beans. Now, the next thing I'm going to add our seasonings. We're going to stir that up. Make sure you get it nice and stirred up. The next thing we're going to add are our diced tomatoes and chili.
then the last thing we're going to add is our chili seasoning. Now I've added in um, the chili seasonings that I use, but um, you can always season your chili to um, your own taste. going to add in this last half of a tablespoon of butter here. Okay, now your chili is nice and bubbling. What we're going to do is um, put the top on it, turn it down to low. And I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, at this point, our chili has been si simmering for 20 minutes. You can taste it and see how you like it. I tasted it and I feel like it needs a little bit more sugar. So I've added about another half a tablespoon of sugar to it. And I'm just going to stir it in here. Okay, and with that, we are finished making our easy chili for today. For these and any other questions, you can give us a call at 910-483-7727 or visit our website at www.cumberlandcountync.gov forward slash library. Thanks for watching.